In today's video, I want to talk about Dolly Toy's Wonderful World of Disney Musical Mobile. As I have it on in the background, this mobile played When You Wish Upon a Star. And this one looks like it probably was never used. Um, underneath this, we've got all the characters here and their little umbrellas. And underneath this, you have the hanging arm. And you have the instructions. And you have the, um, the hardware there. So that is kind of a nice... A nice set and the little music box works fine and you've got your old school paper that it's wrapped in. Um, the Dolly Toy Company was out of Tip City, Ohio and this was a real um, iconic children's and nursery decor um, company from roughly the 50s uh, up until the 90s, I believe, um, they specialized in room, uh, the room de decor. They had wall hangings that were the very thick cardboard. They had mobiles, and they had nursery lamps. And at the end of World War II, the, one of Dolly's artists, Phil Riley, designed a new wall decoration for nurseries and kids' rooms. And it was the, the start of the Mother Goose pinups. Dolly started, Toys started selling these in department stores in 1948. And then what happened is later the tidy ups were came into existence. And those were the thick cardboard decorative pictures, but they would also have the, um, they'd have pegs to hang the clothes. And in 1958, they came out with nursery rhymes, it, nursery lamps rather. And then in 1963, they came out with the mobiles. And these, um, and when you find the, the wall hangings, they're the very, very thick cardboard. And there's a lot, there, there's a lot of them um, that were made. And you, there were the, um, Western themed ones seem to be very popular in the resale mar market. There's the Praying Children, there's Disney ones, Winnie the Pooh, uh, Nursery Rhymes, Clowns, Trains, Circus, Sesame Street, uh, Mama Cat and Her Kittens in the, from the 80s, Teddy Betty Bear, Care Bears, 70s, Raggedy Ann, Wink and Blink and a Nod. And when you see them, it's it's like they were very prevalent. You could buy them in department stores. You could also buy them in more upscale uh, children's children's shop. And one of the things I thought was interesting about them was that I had spotted them in an old episode of Bewitched. And when Tabitha has the pink nursery, I see that they're all over her um they're on her closet door, and they're also on the wall above her pink dresser. So what I had done was I looked at some, um, I looked at some still life photos, Google images of the nursery to see if I could identify who she actually had in her bedroom. And on the wall above the dresser, she has this Western horse. Bambi and a child sleeping on the moon. And then on her closet door, she's got, it's kind of like um, the cowboy who should be on the back of the western horse. And then uh, he's on the top panel of the door. And then on the bottom panel of the door is Thumper. And then in between is somebody that, uh, some character that's carrying balloons that I couldn't quite make out. It looked like a child or whatever. So it's always interesting. I like to try to spot the vintage decor in the vintage, in the old television programs. And the Dolly Toys, it's just like, it was a very common nursery decor back in the 50s, 60s, 70s um, that I, I can remember as a kid 
um, seeing in a lot of people's houses. And I just wanted to share this with you today because I thought it was a really neat find. And a lot of times when I find the mobiles, they don't have all the pieces, um, but this one does. So that was kind of um, that was kind of exciting. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and have a good day.